Hello everybody, this is Gero Gericke from oilfilter.net, oil-filter.net and today I want to talk to you about the fi filter installation of the Trabolt High Performance Oil Filter which has the capacity of uh, extreme fine fil filtration of the oil and uh, also it takes out uh, impurities uh, such as uh, condensed water or um, other chemical uh, parts that might be in the oil through the burning process or through impurities during the burning process. Okay, um, what you see here is the filter body. The filter body is uh, aluminum case which has also a cooling effect for the oil um, the insert inside the filter is a cellulose uh, roll the cellulose has the capacity to be at the same time pressure resistant and allowing a slow uh, flow through the filter while uh, filtering as well as uh, radially as actually through this filter. Uh, notice that this uh, cartridge has a button which is open and has a top which is closed. So you want to place the closed top always at the oil inlet and the oil inlet and on the filter body is marked with a sign Öl Einlauf, which you can see here. Okay, standard installation procedure is you take the oil from a pressure holding point in the engine, you let it flow through the filter. It's a bypass filter, so it's not interfering with the main oil stream of the engine and from the oil return the outlet of the filter the hose provides the oil back into a non-pressure holding part of the engine that may be um, the um, valve cap region that may be uh, another non-pressure holding part where you have access to the engine it may also be the oil sump, the oil pan, where you can access the oil pan through a special screw which will replace the oil release screw that is usually at the oil pan where you change the oil. Okay, now for the standard installation we have these hollow screws here. We have these ring nipples or um, ring fittings and we have this rubber enforced ru rubber hose which is fixed on these um, ring fittings with a hose clamp and um, we use this standard hose uh, for standard installations where you have good access, where you don't have extreme temperature ranges and where uh, you have the pressure free side of the filter if we need to return for example to the valve cap of the engine. On the other hand we have available this Teflon hose you can see on the side of the filter. Um, we recommend the Teflon hose for any um, difficult uh, areas as far as temperature, as far as uh, environmental surroundings, as far as uh, special surroundings like for example ships and vessels and also if uh, you want to install the filter in an area in the car for example where you don't see if the um, if the hose is properly attached or if it might leak or anything 
these Teflon hoses they have the tendency to be very very leak proof it's a system where you um, have a little more work uh, installing it but and of course <laughs> a little more cost when it comes to the installing material however you have um, much better security for the oil flow and for the whole circuit okay now this is the side of the oil inlet um, and if we take the whole procedure we have this part here I have now attached it here for for sending purposes we have a T element um, which comes to the oil pressure switch we have a different film different short film about the T element and how it's installed so I won't show this here I would just say okay it comes from the pressure pressure switch um, it goes through the hose that is leading towards the filter inlet and then from the filter outlet this hose is leading to the valve cap so at the valve cap you um, you drew a hole for this part here this part is just a hollow screw and it will be inserted into the hole that you drill into the valve cap so then this part here and this part is on the inside of the valve cap and this comes through the hole and this is then tightened from the outside by this nut and after that you just attach the hose and you tighten the hose with a hose clamp so then again you have this standard feedback to the valves it gives an extra lubrification and cooling to the valve area if you don't want to feed to the valve cap because it's plastic made or whatever other reason then inquire if you can get a special screw for the oil sump we have this for example for the Mercedes G model or for other Mercedes models see here now this is this part it's an M14 uh, thread here which goes into the um, release oil release screw of the oil sump and it has the same ring fitting here and this hollow screw as you have seen before and we can do two things we can attach either a teflon hose which we have installed or we can attach this uh, standard rubber hose just as we like okay so this is the procedure this is the material and uh, for any questions you might have you can get back to us via uh, internet respectively email or if you have contacted us via our website www.oil-filter.net uh, we can give you all possible support we can send you installation images along with the filters also you get standard installation materials for free when you order the filter and uh, this teflon hoses they are extra if you require or if you want to have this most professional way of installation thank you very much for watching for your attention for any questions get back to us and see you soon on oil filter net thank you